Together with world-leading bushcraft expert Stephen Hanton, I've put together the ultimate guide to starting and managing fires in the wilderness. Stephen and I will take you through the core principles to get you making fires, maintaining them and using them safely. I used to think, I need a tent, I need food, and if I don't have those things, I won't be able to survive in the wilderness. Suddenly, I can light a fire with two sticks, I can find water and food, and that level of confidence just enables you to be so much freer, knowing that if something happened, you could cope with it. Just think how better placed you are to deal with what nature can throw at you when you have the ability to make fire by rubbing sticks together that you find in the woods around you. It's liberating. So the technique here is called battening. I'm using quite a sturdy stick just to hammer the knife down through the wood. You're splitting the wood open and then even if it's wet, this wood inside will be bone dry. I'm working with the grain of the wood. That's how you get this nice bundle of shavings at the bottom. And in really wet weather, this is a great method for getting your fire started. What we've covered in this course is a very comprehensive look at how to start fires, how to manage fires, all the various detail of not just lifetimes of experience between Ed and I, but also looking at the indigenous use of fire. We're tapping into this massive body of knowledge of what is fire, how do we create it, how do we use it. So if I can get plumes of black smoke above the canopy in under three minutes, then I think that very much proves this method. You're learning these skills so you can become more comfortable outdoors. Bushcraft adds richness to people's lives. I can start to see it charring, and notice I'm keeping my arms quite straight. And there's that really dark white smoke, and then you've got flame. Nicely done. That's Nicely the bamboo done. Fire Welcome to Bushcraft. Imagine you're flogging an octopus in order to tenderise the meat. Flogging an octopus? Yeah, on a, on a rock. <laughs> <laughs> Hands up here if you've flogged an octopus on a rock. <laughs>